hi there. Hey, I was just going to return the shovel to my neighbor, so how about coming along? Hey, Tommy, is your dad home? Hi, Dad. Yeah, he's around back. Hi, Tom. Hi, Chad. Hey, thanks for letting me use this. I just want to return your shovel to you. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I saw Tommy sitting on the front porch. Is he okay? Oh, yeah. He says he's bored. You know, my mother used to say to me, a good cure for boredom is to read a book. I know. I told him. But he said he's read all of his books. But he said he's read all of his books. But he said he's read all of his books. You know, I think I have a solution for Tommy's book problem. I'll be back in a little bit, and this should cure his book dilemma. Okay, Chad. See you later. So Tommy got me thinking. There's this great nonprofit organization called the Little Free Library. It uses the concept of take a book, leave a book. So this is going to cure Tommy's problem of not enough books because well, everyone in the neighborhood can contribute. However, before we can contribute a book, we need a box to put them in. So I've come up with this design. It's based after an old schoolhouse. I think it's going to be the perfect theme for our books. Now because this box is going to be outside, well, it's going to be exposed to the elements. So I want to make sure I use a good exterior paint as well as a good water resistant glue. Now before I can glue or even paint my parts, I first got to cut them out. So I've already cut my pieces. I've got quarter inch for the roof, half inch for the front, back, and sides, and three quarter inch for the doors. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to measure for what I'll cut out will be the windows on the sides and doors. And I'm going to do this with my jigsaw. I've attached the bottom, sides, and back, and I'm going to reinforce them with this cleat in the corner, which I'll glue and nail. Well, I've attached the sign and I've added the doors. I'm going to add some weather stripping to the inside of the doors before I'm done. But first I want to focus my attention on the roof where I'm going to cover this with some tar paper to protect it from the rain. I bought some cedar door shims that I'll cut down to make them look like shingles. Cedar is a great outdoor wood and it'll give it that old school look. It's really starting to look like an old schoolhouse, but I'm thinking I want to add some trim around the windows and doors and probably add some corbels underneath the sign. I made templates and traced them onto my wood. Then I cut them out on the bandsaw. Once again, I'll just attach the trim to the schoolhouse with some glue and nails.
Well, this schoolhouse is really starting to look great, but no school is complete without a bell. So I made this little cupola to go up on top of the roof. Now it's just a matter of priming and painting. Well, here it is all done. After I painted it, I silicone and screwed plexiglass to the inside, as well as I added weather stripping to the inside of the doors. Now, let's take it outside and see what Tommy thinks. So here it is, Tom. It's the little free library that any of the kids can share. Now, any of the kids can have a book whenever they want. Wow, that's a great idea for the neighborhood. Hey, thanks for joining us. Come back next time and see what's going on in our neighborhood.